okay welcome back uh, now before we start building our Joomla website uh, let's install Joomla okay this is necessary before we start doing anything now there are a couple of ways you can install Joomla okay here I'm gonna show you uh, two of the most popular ways of doing that now the easiest is through your hosting accounts control panel now if uh, your hosting provider has a facility called Fantastico and Joomla is one of the software applications that are available for installation uh, through that medium then you that would probably be the easiest way of installing Joomla but if you don't have that facility available uh, from your hosting provider then I'm going to show you the manual route of installing Joomla also okay but first uh, let's see how we can install Joomla through uh, Fantastico so first thing we have to do is log on to a hosting accounts control panel now as you can see here I'm already logged on to my uh, control panel so now let's look for a blue smiley okay called Fantastico okay sometimes it's Fantastico other times it's Fantastico Deluxe so whatever it is it's the same uh, thing we are looking for so we click on that okay now it brings you to this page and here you uh, notice that we have uh, a wide range of software application that we can as actually install on uh, our website okay uh, you have uh, blogs and then you have classifieds and you have content management systems okay uh, all these are content management systems like Joomla but Joomla is by far the best of them all okay so uh, now you have two versions of Joomla here uh, you have Joomla and then you have Joomla 1.5 the first one here is an older version of Joomla now I'd advise you not to uh, install that version because uh, the latest version is actually the most, the most secure so you probably want to go with Joomla 1.5 so we click on Joomla 1.5 and now it brings us to this uh, page here and you notice that uh, we now have to now we have to install make a new installation okay so now this is how much disk space is actually required on your hosting account to install Joomla successfully it's about 25 megabytes and uh, so and this is version 1.5.7 okay uh, which is a uh, the latest version of Joomla so you click on new installation okay and that brings us to this window here okay so this is a, a three step process this is a uh, step one of three so now you have certain options here you can either install Joomla on the root directory which is joomlasultan.com in this case or you can install it on a subdirectory of that website okay now if you've already created the subdirectory where you want to install Joomla you could just click on this arrow here and select uh, that directory where you want to install Joomla but if you haven't already created the, the, the subdirectory then you can easily do that from here okay uh, you just type in the uh, name of the directory that you want to install Joomla on okay so fantastic we automatically create uh, this directory and install Joomla on it at the same time so in this case we want to name it uh, my site okay so my site uh, is going to be the directory where we'll be installing Joomla so now you uh, create a username uh, admin username uh, it's pretty variable you don't use admin and then you create a password also okay and also uh, you choose an admin email address okay this should be an email address that you already uh, using which is active uh, just in case you lose your password you might be able to use this to retrieve the password okay from the Joomla front end and now you put in your name here and here you can either leave it like this uh, leave the name of the website or you can give choose a keyword which term that you're actually targeting okay now let's assume for example that we are uh, our website is going to be uh, based on internet marketing for example so we call this uh, let's say internet biz okay and if that's the main keyword that we're actually trying to target okay and now you click on install Joomla now what happens now is that Joomla uh, I mean Fantastico creates a database and a username and a password uh, for this installation and it also links you know, all this together so it now tells us that uh, our new uh, Joomla website is going to be on 
joomla.com slash my site so that's gonna be where our new joomla website will be located okay so if all is okay just click on finish installation so as you can see here uh, joomla has already been installed okay and this is the username that we chose and this is the password that we also created for that username okay so this is gonna be our admin credentials okay we use an admin as the username and password as a password in this case okay which is not actually secure okay uh, now the full URL of the admin area uh, we'll be doing uh, the bulk of the uh, creation of the website it will be on joomlasultan.com slash my site which is directory where, in, where we install Joomla slash administrator now if you had installed Joomla on the root directory okay uh, let's say for example you install Joomla on my site.com then the admin area will be my site.com slash administrator okay so you be that will be the location where we log in on to the Joomla website and creating uh, you know all that you have to do okay so this is the, the installation is complete and uh, if you want a copy of the, the uh, some of the details of the installation just put in your email address here and uh, they send it to you okay so that's how to do that okay and uh, now next video we'll be taking a look at how to install Joomla manually